When a Marine earns the rank of Corporal, they take on the role of a non-commissioned officer. And this is more than just another chevron on their uniform. The hardest part may be now they have to switch their mentality of, hey, I'm a non-commissioned officer now, and I'm no longer a junior Marine or a Lance Corporal or PFC. I got to take care of my Marines. It's no longer about me. And it's also I got to take care of the mission that has to be accomplished. New NCOs across Marine Corps Air Station Miramar attend Corpus course to help with this transition. During the course, they learn technical skills, including sword manual, physical training exercises, and leading platoon drill. March, pivot in one, three, five, four, three, fifteen. But it also helps them to see the importance of brotherhood and camaraderie. What I try to instill into my squad is that we try to not leave any Marines behind because the Marines to your left and right are going to be your there for you throughout the whole course or throughout your Marine Corps career. And from there, you try to watch each other's back throughout off-duty and on-duty. Sergeants instruct these Marines and hope to show them this is a chance to learn and lead as an NCO. Some people might think that Corpus course is a mini, like a miniature boot camp where instructors are want to be drill instructors, but we're just regular Marines, just like any other Marines. It's just that we try to show you that they're, rather than buddy buddies with your fellow peers, you need to step up to your leadership position. NCOs are really important to the Marine Corps because we uphold customs and courtesies, but also we set those regulations and standards throughout the Marine Corps. Corporal's course is held year-round aboard the air station, and instructors will continue to help these Marines as they enter this new phase in their careers. Grab. Reporting for Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, I'm Corporal Raquel Barraza.